Namaste, this is Yama Olikam and today's video is the 10th episode of the Mahabharata. In the previous episode, we discussed that when the time came for the Pandavas and their mother Kunti Devi to leave the forest Hidimbavan and to head to the village Ek Chakra, they shed many tears, especially when they were leaving the Tokacham. But finally, they moved on, again starting their wanderings. When it became night, they had reached the desolate village of Ekachakram. There were a few poor huts in the neglected fields of the village. That night, the Pandavas slept in the open. The next morning, when the village gates were opened, a kind Brahman agreed to give shelter to the Pandavas. The rest of the days, the Pandavas spent begging for arms and food. But they noticed that when it came in food, Bhima would eat more than all of the Pandavas with their Kun mother Kunti Devi all together. So, Kunti Devi would give half of whatever was given to them to eat and the remaining half would be shared by the four Pandavas and their mother. One day, as to Dishtiram, Arjuna, Nakula and Sahadeva were going for begging for alms, Kunti Devi listened that their Brahman host was crying. She went in to inquire. There she overheard what they were talking. The Brahman was telling to his wife, My wife, why have you stopped me to leave this village? Now see what has become. I have to go and sacrifice myself for the demon Waka tomorrow. And if I go, who will help and who will support my family, you and our children? And he started to cry. Then the wife told, My dear husband, you don't worry. I will go to the demon Waka and sacrifice myself. When I die, you can remarry. Now the children told, No, my dear mother and father, you don't go. We will go and sacrifice ourselves. It is a duty of us as we are the children. Now Kunti was very heart touched by hearing them. She then told, None of you need not to go to that demon Waka. My son Bhima will go. And he will not die. He will kill the demon Vaka. Now the Brahman was shocked. He told, My dear lady, even if your son is the strongest of the men, he cannot defeat the demon Vaka. And also, you are my guest. And as a Brahman, it is not right for me to allow you to be sacrificed. But Kunti convinced them telling that her son was none other than the son of Jess, the god of wind. Finally, the Brahmins agreed. But when, it, when they told it to Yudhishthira, Yudhishthira was very anxious about sending Bhima. But Kunti was confident. When Bhima got to know this, he was very happy for two things. One, he could kill the demon Vaka. And the second one, he could eat a cart full of rice and two buffaloes, which were actually sent for that demon. The next morning, he eagerly sat in that place instead of his Brahman host. When he reached them, he built a big fire and fried two buffaloes started eating it. In between of mouthfuls, he would call out to the demon, 
Hey, you demon, come, I would like to see your face. Then he began eating. Now, Vakasuram, who was sleeping, smelt roasted meat and a man full of flesh. He came and he strode by, but a rude shock awaited him. He was surprised to see Bhima eating all his dinner. Then he shouted, Hey, you human, how dare you eat my dinner? He started shouting. Then Bhima said, Vakasura, stop. It's not good manners to disturb others while they are eating. And he continued to eat. Now, Vakasura got angry. He uprooted a tree and threw it at Bhima. Now, Bhima just pushed it away with his hand as though it was a blade of grass. Vakasura had red hair, red bear and long nails which had dirt and blood in it. He had equally red eyes now. He then said, how dare you? And started throwing stones and many things at Bhima. But Bhima was undisturbed. After he had ate everything, Right in front of the eyes of Vakasura, he rubbed his tummy satisfactorily. Then he turned towards Vakasura and said, You have disturbed me when I was eating. It's time to teach you a lesson. Then he took the legs of Vakasura and held it up in the air and circled him and threw him down. Even though Vakasura wanted to fight, he was unable as he was badly injured. After hearing all the shouts, the villagers came running to see what calamity would befall them again. But they were very happy to see that Bhima was dragging Vakasura by his legs. Then Bhima left the demon in front of the village gates and the Pandavas and their mother Kunti Devi left the village. The next morning, the villagers who hadn't visited that site where Bhima had killed the demon were astonished to see the demon lying dead in front of the village. Whatever or however he died, the villagers celebrated. If you really like my video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.